Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Looking around today, I need to water my plants because they're dying. Um, I have so many plants in my apartment now, like all around this area. I put this here last night so Squirt and his puppy friend wouldn't, um, they like to get into the, the plants when they're together. I have all these plants and this one likes to kind of like droop and die and look dead. And then same with these two guys over here. This one is just like looking dead and I don't know because I give it a lot of water but I feel like it's still just like really dry in some places. This one kind of always like springs back to life after I water it and then I have this like giant one and I have some over there. Plant tour. <laughs> but anyway, I really need to remember to do that because I want to keep them alive so. I need to be a better plant mother. I heated up some chipotle. Why did I like bring home this much of a burrito bowl? This is literally like four bites. I don't know, but I also have chips. You know, not the healthiest way to get our day started, but it's like if I don't eat the leftover chipotle now, the chips are just gonna get like more sale. So like, let's do it. Really weird angle to film at. We're doing it. <laughs> um, I have a package from Wildflower Cases that they sent me, it says, open if you dare, which I don't know who wrote that. I have a feeling it was Sydney. <laughs> I'm so excited because the super sad thing about me and my wildflower cases was that I had an iPhone 5 and all of the cases that I had were for the iPhone 5. So now that I have an iPhone 6, I didn't have a single case, wildflower case. This one's Megan's that she's been loaning to me. Um, which I really like and then I saw that this one came out and oh my god yes it's so perfect okay this is it I'll just take it out of the box I think it's called the pink stone case oh my gosh it's gorgeous I don't know why I love this so much I just because they've made like I feel like kind of cases like this before but I just love it so freaking much they sent me a bunch of stickers, which is awesome because I actually don't have... I don't know what happened to my wildflower stickers, man. I got some of the Drake ones. This is awesome. Oh, it was this, it was this dude said, and she wrote me. <laughs> she wrote me a funny little note. Oh my god. I love them. I seriously love them so much. I really need to uh, get myself looking presentable for the day. Do you ever just have those days? I, ha I feel like I have them too much where you just like wake up and you like wear your pajamas for half the day, sometimes the whole day. And you just like flop around like you're doing things at home, but you're like not really doing things. It's okay to have those days, whatever. <laughs> it's one of those days. I haven't left the apartment besides to walk Squirtle. Anyway, I finally finished up editing a vlog two vlogs ago i have no idea why it took me from thursday until monday which is right now to edit that vlog i i don't know why i really don't it was like a lot of footage to go through and music to add and things to do in the vlog but honestly like i don't know i guess i really just need to get back into the swing of like editing i am uploading that now i am having some coffee that i just made sometimes like warm coffee i'm either like totally actually i say 90 percent of the time i want i crave like cold coffee um but it's been a little bit finally it's been a little bit like windy and chilly during the days and i've been enjoying getting hot coffee drinks for the first time this year so um i love that feeling so i made myself some hot coffee i'm listening to some coffee with Rachel. i must admit i have fallen very behind um so i'm catching up on rachel and chris's lives and i'm listening to episode 26 and then i'll probably listen to the most recent one my video is bam 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 it is processing as we speak it's going up um by the way if you guys ever have not used uber my code right there you can get your first ride for free if you've never ubered before so check it out had to put this guy back in his cone makes me sad but he was trying to get in on his 
surgery area. So that's why they have to wear them, if you didn't know. My new little friend on here. Honestly, this has been the highlight of my day so far. And finishing my vlog. I'm gonna finish the description box of this vlog. Um, I probably should take like a shower or something. <laughs> like why am I so lazy? My only like thing that I really wanna get accomplished today, honestly, is going to Whole Foods at some point because I wanna get groceries for the week. That's honestly like my only thing that I really wanna like actually accomplish today. <laughs> the rest of this week, you know, We'll be a little bit more productive today. We're just chilling. We're hanging out. Hey guys. So I can't really move my face much right now because my mask has dried, but I'm doing a little face mask, doing some laundry, still coffee with Rachel, catch upping, catching up. That makes more sense. I'm gonna go take this off now before it like suctions to my face. I wonder how long like you could actually keep a face mask on because it always says pretty much like 10 15 minutes i feel like i usually leave my leave mine on for like 30 or something just because i get like distracted but what if i like slept in this i think you can sleep in face masks i know you can like dot a mask such as this or something on like your spots and sleep in it and that can work as like a spot treatment i don't know why i'm sharing this information but um let me go and take it off now. No, 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 no. Take a little. How's it going? How's your day? Oh my god. That's like him giving me like the like fuck you for making me wear this. He hates it. He, Megan and I were saying that when he has, well, when he goes from having it off to having the cone on, he like visually gets like depressed and like just like, why are you doing this to me? Um, but I have to because he keeps freaking trying to like lick his area. He's going back to the vet probably in a few days. I need to schedule that appointment. <sighs> I have a lot of things that I need to do. I'm so like, I realized that, well not realized, I've known this. I just like, I really let things pile up and then I get like super stressed because I feel like everything that I need to do happens at like the same time, but it's really just like, I feel like a cycle of me like leaving things for like the last minute. But that's just the type of person that I am. Like, that's just the way I am. Everything is last minute. Anyway, I stepped out of the house. Uh, I went to Phil's, told the lady, I was like, hey, so I've only tried your iced coffees and I'm in the mood for something hot. So the barista was literally talking to me for like five minutes. We were like deciding which coffee I should get. And I decided to get their like ginger snap. It's, and they usually make it iced, but I got it hot. And then she put some sort of, I don't know, she did something with the filter or something, but I don't know why I thought I liked, I feel like I always think that I like ginger and like spicy kind of stuff like that, spicy coffees and such, but I didn't really like this. I told the lady that I did because I wasn't gonna be rude, but um, I think I should have just stuck with like my iced coffee. It's been a, an off day, to be honest. I don't know why because literally like nothing happened other than the fact that I got really upset because I can't find my headphones. <laughs> and when I was actually going to Phil's, I was like, I really just want to like take, I can't get over how disgusting my hair looks. I was like, I need to get out of the apartment. Like I was driving myself crazy for some reason being in here. And so I went to Phil's, but I got mad because I couldn't find my headphones and I still have no idea where they are. And then I was just like, okay, maybe this, this is a sign that I should like be social and not like tune out the world. I didn't really think that. I was just like, oh, I can't find my headphones. <laughs> um, anyway, though, it was weird. When I was sitting at Phil's, I was sitting at the table out front <coughs> alone. Sorry, that was gross. Um, and in the span of me sitting there, like two different guys came up to me and uh, classic, just they talked about uh, business. <laughs> I made it sound so exciting like two different guys approached me when I was sitting down, but um No, they just came up to talk to me about like different uh, Things that they do for work. I don't know. It was random, but I was kind of like hey, you know if I had had my headphones in Maybe these things wouldn't have happened. So yeah, you know, it's always good to meet people 
I've found that a, like living downtown LA again, it's kind of random. Like people will legitimately just like stop me on the side of the road and start talking to me and tell me I should like uh, hit them up or we should exchange numbers or something like that. And obviously it like, depends on the situation if I actually want to give them my number. But um, I don't know. It's just random. Like that's just something I noticed about moving back downtown. I feel like guys especially are just a lot more forward. But it kind of makes sense because sometimes I'll be like walking and I'll see, you know, an attractive man or something like that. And I'm kind of just like, you know, this is like probably our only time like seeing each other unless he like lives around this area like if i don't go up and talk to that person like they're just gonna walk off and i might never see them again so that's something i don't know <laughs> not saying i like go up to people i feel like i haven't gotten that much confidence but i feel like i'm getting better at like just saying yes to things and like doing things i don't know why i'm going off on a five minute tangent here uh <sighs> That's about it. Oh, I did a post make order because I was really hungry and I still haven't gone grocery shopping. But I ordered from one of my favorite places, which is called Kaya Street Kitchen. Um, the only thing is I usually always get this thing called like a chicken satay bowl. And um, I'm trying not to eat meat anymore. Um, at least not to eat meat. Like right now, trying to just like cut it out. So I got tofu instead, and I don't really like, I don't think I'm the biggest tofu fan, but it didn't allow you to not select like a protein. So I got tofu. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is just like the tofu bowl, I suppose. I talk about Postmates all the time on like Twitter and stuff, but I don't know if I've talked about it in a vlog. I probably have. It's basically an app, and in most like cities, most cities, I'll say, um, I've been able to use Postmates like I use it a ton of places. I can't use it in like my hometown, but, but if you live like close enough to a city, um, it definitely should work and you can get anything delivered. So if you guys have never used it before, you can um, use my code that I will have right here because I don't remember exactly what it is, but you can use um, my code to get $10 in delivery credit, which is really, really nice because the delivery fee is like at least $5. So you can use that for like two deliveries. So that's really awesome. And check that out. I'll, also, I'll have like the info linked in the description box if you want to check it out as well. Squirtle's being really, really, really loud eating one of his favorite chewies. I'm gonna try this out now. I decided we're gonna go to Whole Foods before it closes and we're gonna do something productive with the evening. So I had my dinner, I took Squirt for a little walk, I finished up my laundry and now I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. So I'm excited because this is my first time actually like doing a grocery shop in the new Whole Foods and I need like everything. So back as you can tell and let me unload my stuff and then I will give you a grocery haul okay here we go for some reason groceries like new groceries just get me excited I got some alkaline waters I got some jelly so I can make peanut butter and jellies some crackers Never tried this brand, but they had a ton of stuff. That's this Califia Farms uh, at Whole Foods. So I'm trying a new almond milk. Hopefully it'll be better than the Trader Joe's. This one is sweetened a little bit, so that's good. Um, or it'll taste better, I suppose. I was so happy I found this. I was looking for a ranch dressing that was vegan just to like try it out, see if it's, you know, good. So if you have recommendations for a good like ranch, I don't know if they would make like vegan Caesar or vegan ranch, but if you have a recommendation that you think is like awesome, let me know. But for now, we'll try this brand. Some cocoa snaps, just an impulse buy. I saw them was like, oh, cocoa crispies or not cocoa crispies, cocoa pebbles. Yeah, that's what they look like, and that's like my favorite cereal, honestly. This is butternut squash ravioli, and this is garlic and roasted veggie ravioli. So, quick little dinners. Nice. Some corn, some avocados. 
I got some gluten-free fudge pretzels because an impulse, you know? Um, I'm trying out to, actually I've had this one before and it's really good, the So Delicious uh, Soy Milk Cookie Dough Ice Cream. This stuff is so good. Like you would not think at all that this is like gluten and um, dairy free. And then this is the Arctic Zero Cappuccino. I don't know, I've tried this before and haven't been a fan of like the Arctic Zero, but I tried a different flavor. Okay, somehow this is vegan. Um, but honestly, I have been eyeing this for like the past week in Whole Foods and rather than get the entire cake for myself, they had a slice that was prepared. So this is somehow a vegan cookies and cream thing. Uh, this is dark chocolate honeycomb something. I don't know. I like to have dark chocolate. It's like something that I crave. Like I have to have dessert products. I think we've talked about this. This is a dairy-free margarita pizza. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I got three things of raspberries. Raspberries are like my favorite fruit. I got some grapes. I'm gonna put these in the freezer because I wanna have frozen grapes. This isn't really focusing, but this is a multivitamin. <laughs> um, I got some almond milk yogurts. Again, if you guys could let me know vegan yogurt options. Although, I'm not a fan of the flavor or taste of coconut at all. I don't like coconut, so I don't really buy coconut milk stuff because I don't like the taste of coconut. But these are almond milk ones, and I feel like it's just like in smoothies or something. I don't know. I just, I need some sort of an alternative because I was buying Greek yogurt. Yeah, let me know. I got some, they are actually awesome. Bought myself some roses. I was really, really happy that Whole Foods had a really nice like selection of flowers. I really see this stuff but it's golden delicious apples and then I got some pears I got this like freshly sliced loaf for me yes I love bread <laughs> I freaking love bread I could never like give it up ever I'm not gonna say I'm trying to eat as vegan as I can I would say when I go grocery shopping I'm trying to buy as vegan as I can that is my thing because I Right now, I'm not going to limit myself when I want something really bad or when I go out to eat, like worrying about, oh my God, is the thing I want most on the menu? Like, is it vegan? Can I eat it? That's my grocery haul. Honestly, it's been not the greatest day. <laughs> I'm gonna eat <laughs> this slice of cake now. And I haven't worked out in like two weeks or something like that. And you know what? I'm off my game. I really am off my game. I guess I have all this new food. I just need to motivate, my, motivate myself to get back on track because I feel like I've been eating out so much and just like eating crappily the past few like days, weeks. Um, and I, I wanna stop. It feels really, really not good. Hello, so it is now the next day. I don't think I vlogged last night after my grocery haul. I just chilled was doing some like online uh, browsing. I got sucked into Etsy for like two hours and it was suddenly 2 a.m. But I wanted to end off the vlog. The finishing touches to my apartment are getting done tomorrow, which is really exciting. And I will share those with you when they're done because um, there's just a few, a few tiny things left. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did. And I love you and I will see you in my next vlog. I'm gonna go do homework for my class tonight. Blah. Okay, bye.